What up people of the internet? I am Ivis the Tiny Lease and welcome to my face. On today's video, I have a VIB Rouge unboxing. Yes, that's right. It's taken this long to get there. And an Ulta Black Friday unbagging. So I have a lot of stuff to show you, a lot of goodies to go through. Let's get started. Quite big. Literally hit VIB Rouge like the week before, or a few, no, like two days before the VIB Rouge sale started. And I literally ordered actually on the third of that. Yeah, the third, when it first started, I think it was the third. And it took them over 10 days to get the box to me, number one. Totally would have loved to have been able to give people suggestions on things that I had already purchased, but guess what? Here we are, who cares? Now I can tell you stuff for Christmas. I have, yes, it is the Urban Decay Heavy Metals Metallic Eyeshadow Palette. Now, I know you've probably already seen this everywhere, right? Everyone and their mom has already gotten their hands on this, but guess what? Now me too. Trying to get it out of the box. I have a lot of trouble with boxes this year. I don't, what's that? Just like they're not. I know a lot of people had complaints about the packaging. There's my camera again. Hi hey girl, look good looking out girl, you look hot. Anyway, so you can't really see it because of my lights and you've probably already seen enough of it anyway, so who cares, right? You can literally, it's like literally a feature of my camera and some eyeshadows. <laughs> Sorry guys, I will uh, put up a better picture on my Instagram. Let's see, what should I try? Hmm. Hmm. Spandex. So far so good. She pigmented. She pigmented, all right. Should we try another one? Yeah, let's try another one, why not? Let's go for after party. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty, look at that one. That's pretty. Ladies and gentlemen, my expert swatches. Ugh. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this palette. Next, let's stick with Urban Decay. I got the set of the two all-nighter sprays. This stuff is awesome, I love it, live by it, highly recommend it, get you some. Next, I have the highly sought, highly coveted, I don't really know if that's true, but I'm saying it. Kat Von D Saint and Sinner eyeshadow palette. It's fun of the packaging. There's the back of the packaging. Does anybody really care? You've probably already seen tons and tons of this one as well, but I just could not resist. I'm a very big fan of Kat Von D. I love her stuff, so... Had to have it. So here is the outside of the packaging. Honestly, this is just such stunning packaging. It can sit out wherever I choose to sit it out, you know? Mine has dust on it. Dusty. Here is the center side of the palette. And here is the saint side of the palette. And here is the whole palette and some mirrors and my camera once again. Oh, it's just beautiful, stunning. I'm gonna try Revelation from the center side. Revelation is on the center side. Let's try exorcism. Ugh, I love a good purple. It's not really a matte, it's kind of a shimmer. Or a satin, I guess would be the proper terminology. Whatever. That, that handled really well, I have to say. Let's try one more. Let's do crucifix from the saint side. I don't really 
they seem pretty pigmented. I have seen a couple of reviews that were complaints that they were not, you know, some of the mattes were not quite as pigmented and buttery as the shimmers and the satins, but I don't know, that one came out pretty well, so. By the way, let me know if you wanna see any videos of these in depth, you know, trying every color, swatching, whatever, trying to make a couple looks out of the palettes. If you're interested in seeing more in depth reviews, just let me know. This one is kind of more funsies for the holiday season. So this is Ole Henriksen's 12 Days of Ole Glow. It has 12 products. It's an advent calendar. And it makes fart noises when you open it. Bronze. Ah, as usual, my lights. What can I say? I don't have a proper lighting system. This is what I have to work with. And my dog is now sniffing around bags. Look at that, look at the glow from the box. It's a typical advent calendar. You know, you pull out something each day. So I am looking forward to playing, having fun with that. I very much like their Truth Stimmer. It's one of my favorite things. I put it on like every morning. I just feel it's very hydrating, but it's not sticky and it doesn't leave residue. So I can put on my makeup almost like that after using it. So I really enjoy that. And I'm looking forward to seeing more of these. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That's really cute. It has a to and a from on the top. If you wanted to give it as a gift just like this. Packaging is pretty nice. You certainly could. This, I couldn't resist. The Sephora. Give me some bold lip. These are adorable. I got one of the nude ones a couple years ago and I really enjoyed it. It was a fun way to try a few different products or brands that I had not tried. So I really liked that. Oh my goodness, look how tiny this is. This is potentially the tiniest product I've ever owned. Also, what is this business? What is, I have stuff here, surprise. We have Bare Minerals Statement Matte Liquid Lip Color in VIP. And it is 0.03 fluid ounces. This is the tiniest thing I've ever seen, but I'm looking forward to trying it. Heart, Tart East, quick, am I saying that right? Tart East. Tardist Quick Dry Matte Lip Paint in Wannabe. So I have tried some of these. Um, they're pretty great. I do really like them. So this will be a fun, you know, wintry fall color to try. Okay, here we have Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in K-Dub. I have wanted to try this. I almost bought it in full size. And this honestly is the one that prompted me to buy this kit because why not? And if I hate it, it's tiny. I am not gonna hate it. Okay, and here we have Bite Beauty, a mousse bouche in licorice. They've done a lot of fall, except for the Kat Von D so far, so it's good to have seasonal lipsticks. I don't necessarily believe in seasonal lipsticks. You should be able to wear whatever you want, whenever you want, and I do. But for those of you who do feel that there are appropriate colors at appropriate times of the year, these are some good fall colors so far. Next, we have Nude Sticks, Magnetic Matte Lip Color in Vino. And I've never tried Nude Sticks, so this will be a fun new experience. Last but not least, we have Too Faced Peaches and Cream Peach Kiss Moisture Matte Longwear Lipstick in Drunk Dial. Now, I have not tried any of these, so I am very excited to see that not only do I get to try it, but it is also a full size. So that's pretty neat, I think. All right, and let's do swatches of each. Just have to show, look, how adorable is that? Can you guys see that? It has TF on the top, and then it has little peaches cut out. You can see that, but it is absolutely adorable. All right, and here are swatches of all of these lipsticks. The Bare Minerals, the Tarte, Kat Von D, Nude Sticks, Bite, and Too Faced. They all went on really smoothly and very nicely, so I'm really looking forward to trying them all. Basically, I'm looking forward to everything in these boxes, bags, whatever. But you know, it doesn't hurt to tell you that every time, right? <laughs> Next product we have is the Bite Agave Kisses set. I don't have a whole lot from Bite Beauty, but I don't know about you guys, in the winter my lips do tend to get a little bit more dry, and I thought, you know, a kit that helps me take care of them is not a bad thing. So it says, infused with Reservatrol from Vitus Vinifera and Polygonum 
capsidatum. Okay, here's the outside packaging. Tells you what they all are. And here are the three products. So in here we have a balm, a scrub, and a mask. This is the scrub. Let's see what the scrub looks like. It smells like. It doesn't really smell like much of anything and it kind of just looks like brown sugar. So no complaints there. This cute little nubbins is the balm. And the last product in here that I am the most intrigued about is the lip mask. Well, these are minis. It's a kit, you know, so you can try stuff. So um, I'm really interested to see how these perform. And of course, one product that I completely missed in there because it was wrapped under the bubble wrap for some reason, probably just tossed around in the packaging. My first milk product. It says long lasting full coverage, creamy color in one swipe. It has directions. Apply to clean dry lips. Oh, I didn't know how to put on lipstick. Thanks, milk. It's called OG Red, because I am clearly an OG. Oh, that's a pretty red. Oh, I like it. All right, now on to the Ulta Black Friday products. I saw these and I just had to. Ah, look at all those fresh beauty blenders just begging to be used. There are 12 Miracle Complexion sponges. Sorry, not beauty blenders. You know, beauty blender is kind of like Band-Aid. It's become a generic term, but it is in fact a brand. So I really should keep that in mind. These are the Real Techniques beauty sponges. These are my favorite and I love them. So I'm very excited to have 12 fresh and not have to run out and grab more the next time I need one. Next products I got are these Tarte eyeliners. Okay, so these eyeliners I really love. Um, I got a set of them last year, very similar to this. So some of them were different colors. So there was like not the, the silvery color and there was a dark brown and a more of a purpley navy blue color. So there are two different colors in here. Um, I use the black one all the time. I actually have it on right now. So love. And um, I'm excited to say that this year the brush isn't jacked up. I got the last set last year and the brush was a little bit jacked, not usable. So this one looks like it's in really good shape. I'm excited to try it with their actual brush to see. Probably doesn't make a difference, but funsies. Next I got the Butter London Glaze and Eyegloss. This is a four set. I have always wanted to try these and they're on sale and I thought why not? I'm telling you boxing is my nemesis. There are four in this set. Starlight, Moonshine, Icing, and Amethyst. Let's see what Amethyst swatches like. So these are really neat. If you've never seen these, it's just a little pot of eyeshadow, but they really are kind of like a jelly consistency. I forgot I still had lipstick on my hand. Wiggles like jello. And you stick your hand in and it has this, the funniest little consistency. Like, look at that. And let's see, let's get a swatch in here. And there's a swatch. Can you see how beautiful and gleamy? I don't think you can tell on the camera that there are blue sparkles in this that are just ridiculous. It's gorgeous. Okay, the next products we have up are Laura Geller products. Now, I absolutely adore her, the spackles. It's a face primer. It's lightweight. It's not at all silicone based. And it just, it's so comfortable and effective. I mean, it really does work. I will say it comes out a little bit more liquid, but you see it's just a clear goop and it goes on clear and it sinks in so seamlessly. It doesn't have a scent to it and they have all different types. So this is the original 
This is just the regular spackle, but they have, I have the champagne one. I got that in a free gift set and it has sort of like a gold sheen to it. So when you put it on, you get this nice natural glow under your foundation. They have a hydrating one. They have a ton of them. So if you are looking for a good primer that does not have the silicone slip to it, this is your girl. Check her out. I also decided to try one of the gift sets. It's the Color Luster Lip Gloss High Def Top Coat Duo, and I got the pearls. I absolutely love her lipsticks. They are some of my favorite lip lipsticks that I have ever tried. So I thought, you know, why not try the lip topper glasses? Let's see what that's all about. And I think they can be worn separately, but it does kind of look like lip topper to me, don't you think? So let's see. This is City Lights. This is City Lights. Just a really nice classic clear. And it has gold and sort of pink, but no, mostly gold flecks in it. And Gilded Honey has more of a peach tone to it. They probably look very similar in the camera but in person they are different and they are gorgeous. And because I bought two Laura Geller products at the time, I didn't know, but when I went to check out, I got a free baked gelato swirl illuminator. I've never tried any of her illuminators. Tiny, adorable. It's in diamond dust. It feels really creamy. Ooh, okay. So it's very subtle, but it's really pink. Interesting. It has a beautiful kind of a pinky rose gold sheen to it. <laughs> Why not? I am looking for a new brush cleaner. Uh, I'm not really happy with the one I've been using, so I decided to try these. It's a trio. It has three scents, citrus, coconut, and rose water. So I figured, you know, why not? It was 14 bucks for three. Give them a shot. Maybe I love one, maybe I hate them all. I don't know, we'll find out. So anybody who knows me knows that I have an absolute love and obsession for nail polish. And these were just too cute to pass up. So these are the Essence nail polishes. Essence the gel, that is their proper title. I thought these were two nice colors together. And they were like a dollar, buy one, get one 50. So I paid a dollar 50 for both of these, that's Pretty amaze balls if you ask me. So, yay! Next, I decided to be bold. Uh, I'm not really a person that tries a lot of perfumes and I thought, you know, why not? Why not be that person now? So I got this. This is Ulta's Try Me Kit for perfumes. It has 14 perfumes to try. And, oh, so there's also a coupon in here. So that's pretty cool. It's $15 off with any fragrance purchase from brands featured in this box, $40 or more. And since perfumes are outrageously priced, I'm sure that would be easy to meet. Burberry, My Burberry Black, Clinique Happy, I know that one's really popular, Coach Woman, hmm. DKNY Nectar Love, Givenchy Very Irresistible. Oh, look at that, I'm getting a nice pink sheen from the box. Now I'm white. Now I'm pink. Juicy Couture Viva Le Juicy Rose. Kate Spade New York Live Colorfully. Lancome La Vie Est Belle. Mugler Alien. I have never heard of that brand. Philosophy Amazing Grace. Ralph Lauren Woman. What is this? Just like, did they get lazy, these two brands? Coach and Ralph Lauren were like, oh, hey, let's make it simple. Woman. Is there a man version out there? Perhaps Child, it's just lazy. Prada Candy, Versace Bright Crystal, and Yves Saint Laurent Mon Paris. The last products I have to share with you today are two models own palettes, the Wonderland palette and the Chrome palette. I have never tried models own. Honestly, I know I had heard the name around, but I don't think I'd ever even seen it in person. And I was in Ulta and they were buy one, get one. 
and I swatched a couple and I was pretty impressed with what I saw in store. So I thought, why not? So here's the chrome eyeshadow. Super cute packaging right off the bat. It is really light plastic. So, you know, it doesn't feel that luxurious, high end, expensive. But it also, I think, was like 14 bucks or something or less. So, you know, you get what you pay for. And if the eyeshadow is awesome, who gives a toot about the packaging, right? This one has the insert, meh. The brush, meh. And here are the eyeshadows. This is called Iron Oxidide. So these are definitely a liquid eyeshadow the, you know the in the pan kind of cream liquid I'm sure there's a proper name for it I don't know it let's not waste time on it but so here is a swatch I mean is that just not is that not amazing like I just thought that was so pretty look at the sheen if you get up close there's beautiful iridescent sort of duochromy sparkles in it it's a winner. Let's watch one more. Let's do the one right next to it. We'll do nickel. You see, it's just gorgeous. I mean, beautiful, rich, creamy, very pigmented, and so affordable. I, this is the Wonderland palette. Got one easy, guys. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Here's the Wonderland palette. It's the same packaging, just different color. Okay. Again, it's got the mirror cover. Now, and here are the colors. I saw this palette, and my first thought was. Winter Wonderland, snow, snowmen making, snowball fights, all of the snow things. Yeah, I think that's probably what they were going for too because, well, look at it. So let's get a swatch of these. And I'm gonna do this with my opposite hand. So this is Glory. This is a beautiful sparkly gray with sort of a blue undertone. Good one, it comes out much bluer on the hand. another one let's try paradise this is so sparkly and it's a dark one so it'll be harder to make it successful God, look at that I just look at that it's a little patchy in the center but the moment you run over it again look the sparkles don't really come off in the swatch which I'm not mad at. It just comes off as more of a satin. So that's fine with me. Let's try one more because these are just too pretty. There is some fallout. Not extreme, not subculture level, but it's there. Let's try Eternity. Eternity. Eternity is this beautiful purpley gray I guess a mauvey gray look how beautiful that is oh, I'm so excited I have so much makeup to try ah! calm down calm down as you can see I have a lot of new makeup to play with I'm super psyched about that if there was something you saw in this video that you would like a more in-depth review on please let me know I'm happy to do that and before you go Please don't forget to hit subscribe. It's that little red button down below. S is for subscribe. I hope everyone had a great holiday and uh, thank you for watching my video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.